Hi, it's Larry the Llama here. How you doing? What is it with us Americans and the British royal family? Why do we love these people so much? President Obama told Prince Charles he was more popular in the US than the president himself. And there's the hit TV series, The Royals. And there's also this Dame Helen Mirren who plays the queen in this Broadway show, The Audience. I mean, she's a real dame, like they have over in the UK. Knights and dames and earls and lords and all the rest of the shenanigans of monarchy. As my Brit friend Sally the Sheep says, here in the US, we're all citizens. But where she comes from, they're subjects of the queen. People in England say the queen is just a figurehead. You know, she's good for the tourism industry. But that ain't the whole picture. If there was a big political crisis in the UK, like as in Greece or someplace, the queen could be used by sinister forces to undermine a progressive government. Back in 1975 in Australia, one time colony of the Brits, remember, a left-wing prime minister, Gough Whitlam, was dismissed from office by the queen's envoy, Governor General Sir John Kerr. But how do you explain our infatuation with these people? When Prince William married Kate, what's her name, a few years back, 40,000 people watched the wedding live on TV in Times Square. Have they all forgotten? During the War of Independence 200 years ago, King George III tried to starve us all to death. How forgiving can we get? Even my wife Lucinda was crying tears of joy when William and Kate had a baby. And his name is George. What a slap in the face that was. For a bit of peace and quiet at home, I had to get tickets to the show, by the way, the one with Helen Mirren. But I have to confess, I enjoyed it. Well, you know what they say on Broadway, there ain't nothing like a dame.